Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So we're here in the garage. I've got a couple of things that I need to unbox and I am going to make a video of at least one of them. It's something that uh, I've been needing for quite some time. And so about a year or so ago, I had a nice little pull down electrical cord from the ceiling uh, and it broke. So I took it down and I've been kind of farting around a little bit. Uh, trying to look for a new one, one that had good reviews and one that seemed reasonably priced and met my, quali my requirements for amperage. And it turns out that that was harder to do than one would believe. Uh, but I did stumble across one that I think will work pretty well. I found it on sale um, after a little bit of drama with the people who sent me the email saying that it was 48% off and then uh, wouldn't initially uh, honor the price that they sent to me in the email and then ultimately did uh, so it worked out in the end but there was a little bit of drama there so let's open it up I guess I shouldn't uh, necessarily turn the box to show who the people were <laughs> Inside for other great offers. Invoice. Yeah, this is what kills me. <laughs> Invoice shows the original price, not the discounted price. And let's get this. All right. Well, here's the box. Um, I think you can see it's a little beat up here and not really flat. Not clear if it's been opened before or not. But I got an Ironton 40 foot retractable cord. This is uh, 15 amps. I wanted a 20 amp one, but it doesn't seem like they make it. But it is 12.3, so it should be okay. It has a built in circuit breaker which I actually didn't want uh, because if this thing's on the ceiling and it does pop for one reason or another, then you kind of got to get up there and, and do it. So, but uh, like I said, I couldn't find any of these without a circuit breaker. So I'm just gonna have to deal with it if it happens. All right. So it's pretty well packed, I gotta say. Got some hardware, I guess, hang it from the ceiling. The power cord. Wow, this thing's bare. The pretty. There's one. Okay. Heavy. It's very heavy. So it's got this three prong plug thing here. Um, I guess probably this is 12. It's got, it's hard to pull, which is good. Um, locked in pretty easily. Probably won't know until I install it um, exactly uh, how hard it is to pull. But, I'm also not sure I'm gonna be tall enough to grab it. Uh, hmm. All right, so it does say on the back side here, caution, high voltage, indoor use only, dry location. Uh, that kind of makes sense, a dry location. I would uh, kibble a little bit with the uh, high voltage, it's regular sort of voltage, which is not high in my mind, but all right, let's batch all of this. I am going to try and hang it somewhere. Not sure where at the moment. This cord, what is that, about maybe four or five feet. Uh, so there's a plug right there. 
um, which has got the lights plugged into it. So I don't necessarily want to plug it in there, um, but I will for the short term. Um, and I believe my lights and my dust extraction are on the same circuit. So I don't want to put this on the same circuit as all of that because I know that the circuit, uh, the breaker will pop if I do that. So uh, we'll figure out an appropriate location. Probably the location will be right about there. And then I'll figure out how to wire it up to where it needs to go. It'll be janky, but we'll do it. All right. All right, so a little trick I learned a while ago is you take a piece of tape, um, you cut out the outline of your hole pattern, you can stick it up there and mark it off. It's a lot easier than trying to hold this up there and line everything. <laughs> many, 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 many moons ago. Okay, well that was the install, that was super easy. Two screws, put it up there, tighten it in with a ratchet and you're good to go. It still hangs a little low, um, but uh, you know, if it becomes a problem, I'll just create a little hook to hang it on so it's not a big deal. I do need to figure out how to wire it permanently because the receptacle that I want to plug it into is all the way on the other wall over there uh, so that it's not on the same circuits as the lights. Um, or the same circuits as the dust collection. But nevertheless, looks up, looks like it's gonna work well. Uh, it's got good action, uh, it stops pretty easily, retracts uh, pretty easily. Um, it probably retracts a little too fast, <laughs> which was one of the actual complaints I read about this. There are some of the newer ones that have kind of a speed break, which cause it to slow down a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. It is very large, it is very heavy, much larger and much more heavier uh, than I thought it was going to be, but that's guess. I'm guessing because it's 12 aug wire, uh, 12 gauge wire instead of 14, which are pretty much the predominant uh, uses. It is 40 feet, so it should be able to get just about anywhere in the shop. All right, that's it. Hey, any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will link to this product as well if you'd like to pick up one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, Appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell. Check me out on Instagram if you wanna see some uh, more real-time updates for what I'm doing in the shop. And don't forget to be inspired. Can I help you? Go girl. Inside, nope, inside. <laughs>